Hey guys, in this shave we're going to be using my George Butler 6 8 Round Point Sheffield Straight Razor, PAA's Peregrino Brush, and Chiseled Face Summer Storm Soap and Splash. Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would love to welcome you all back for another video. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get on with the shave. As you can see, I'm trying a little bit different of a format, kind of CDB-like, and a couple other guys I've seen out there. But anyhow, um, in case you ain't seen it, this is my George Butler 6 8 straight razor with ivory scales. The blade has engraved in it, or acid etched, actually, as you can see, that's the blade. The, uh, Blade actually has etched into it a line from a Shakespeare play, Love Labor's Lost, with Shakespeare's name and the name of the play and his face. Anyhow, and the brush is going to be my 24 millimeter pair. Here's the 24 millimeter Peregrino brush. 24 millimeter. Um, synthetic knot, same knot that you find in the StarCraft. This this brush is based off of the Everetti 500E. The soap and splash was donated to me, kindly donated to me, or given to me, I should say, by Guy Solis of the Shaving Chronicles. Gentleman's Edge. So I got a sample of it. I got part of the sample here in the bowl. Been blooming for a minute. We'll go ahead and we'll get that mixed up here in a minute. And tonight's shaverage. Gentleman Jack Whiskey. Bourbon Whiskey from Jack Daniels. Mm. That's great. That's wonderful. Lovely, lovely bourbon. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead, cut away. Uh, get this lathered up, and I'll be back. Mm. Lovely, lovely bourbon. Anyways, I got my uh, soap lathered up. Now, guys, if you've never tried this chiseled face summer storm, which actually is the very first time I've ever tried a chiseled face soap, it's really soft. Uh... So you can just scoop it out with your finger, lathers up really easy, and the smell just gets better when you lather it. Anyways, so I'll go ahead and wet the face, and we'll get on with lathering. There we go. And I did mix the soap up in my timeless lather bowl. Mmm, God, I love this. I really, really like the scent of this soap. You're gonna have to pick me up a tub of it. That is for sure. So, how are all of you doing? Oh, normally I cut away for this, but what the hell. We'll go with it. Anyways, I hope you all have been doing good. Some of the soap ran down on the handle of my Peregrino brush. And in case somebody doesn't know, Peregrino is uh, Spanish for pilgrim. So, Beautiful scent. And 
just in case I need a help I brought in for the head shave, which I will be filming. The CR Colonial Razors the General. So that will be the rescue razor if have any issues. All right, let's go ahead and dry the hands and get this shave rocking. Oops, one moment guys, I gotta wipe the blade here. I forgot to wipe the oil off. There we go. Oil free. Dry my hands real quick. Don't want to handle an extremely sharp razor with a wet hand. Or with wet hands. Don't want to end up dropping it. Very nice. Went ahead and been trying to find Maddie Lynn Holmes' channel for a bit. Haven't been having any luck. And, uh, but CDB. Chris Bailey. Had mentioned his channel in one of his more recent videos. So I ended up uh, Click in the link that he put down in the description. Wow, that that takes that just takes it off. The, the whiskers, man, this is a good edge. Yeah, guy, I forgot to ask you. What kind of edge put on here? Is this Sararo, Suaro, Chronicle, or what? So, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, guy.
uses a JNAT stone for finishing up. I might be wrong. Sorry about the sound of the water, guys. Definitely don't want to be splashing my blade around in a... Oops, missed a little bit on there. Definitely don't want to be uh, getting water down in that pin. Because that would be a very sad thing indeed. I think I got my lather good because it's rinsing off this blade really easy. Thank you for all the comments that everybody gave me on the last video. I appreciate that. Um, Sinatra, I know you're probably not watching this, but if you do come across this video, thank you so much for that shout out on your channel here recently. Well, I already did this side. here sometime this week I'm going to be sending out two more blades to Guy to uh, work his magic on my uh, little nymph lady Nice residual slickness, but um, that one and the one with the slight smile. All right, that was an excellent first pass, guys. I'll be back. All right. All right, so let's see here. Pass two with the grain or across the grain.
Screw it. We're going against the grain, guys. We're going against the grain. don't really have to stretch much because when I'm doing my neck because it's uh, pretty uh, pretty tight when I turn my head that way that I was just doing. Watching Johan Shaving Butcher channel, Johan Granado Shaving Butcher using a Celebrate it for Barbara's use. I think it was for Barbara's use. Wade and Butcher Straight, which is has a bit of a smile to the blade. And I've been interested in one of those for a bit. I'm going to have some shout outs here in a few minutes. Well, here in a minute after I get done with this pass. Felt the edge digging in there. That would not have been good. You know, guys, if you don't think you can do this, you can. I'm doing it. I'm freaking blind, guys. I need to do a little research because I want to find out if there's any special care you do with ivory scales. They seem pretty damn durable. I know guys, I know I'm slow at this stuff, at this straight razor stuff, but
did a shave the other night. Used my uh, Icon B2 DLC coated open comb razor. Pretty nice shave. Been a while since I used that one. Yeah, I need to put some more soap here on my chin. Okay, we're going to see if I can go against the grain on my chin. If not, I'll just grab the general. Really wish this razor could talk. I'd like to know how it made its way from Sheffield, England, here to the States. Yeah. Interesting fact about this George Butler. Apparently this face of Shakespeare and all that was, you know what, I'm going with the general guy, was really, really had impressed the queen, the crown. And it impressed the you know the king and queen of England to the point where they um, the royal family actually commissioned George Butler to uh, the George Butler Company. to uh, make cutlery for the royal table. with the stuff that's on the blade of my razor. Damn it. Just 
got some stuff up my nose. Oh, well, it's there. So, people who ate at the royal table. They were cutting up their meat with Shakespeare's face. Yeah. We'll touch up right there. As general is from this is the first version well, this is the version one of their razor. It's all aluminum. is from their actual second batch of razors. Their first batch had a flaw in it. Anyways, I'm gonna rinse off. I know the elm's gonna kick my ass because, I don't know, I just wasn't quite knowing it tonight. Anyways, I'll be back in a minute. Hmm. Damn, I smelled it. Oh well, it's cool. It's cold. What do they say on the Dr. Squatch? Not bad, really. Dr. Squatch, Vid Squatch videos. Um, drinking ice in your whiskey is like getting hammered and hydrated at the same time. Oh really, that's not bad. Feedback wise from the island. Anyways, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to end the video here because I still have to shave my head. And uh, I'll go ahead in that video. I'll use my post-shave products in that video. Anyways, thank you, everybody, for joining me. I hope you all been doing well. I forgot the shout-outs. Oh, well, I'll put that at the end of the video here. But anyways... Likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. If you do subscribe, go ahead, click that bell, and click all notifications. Anyways, see you in a minute. All right, guys, I got my Victor Reader. Going to go ahead and tell you guys who the new subscribers are. If I screw up any of your names, I apologize. My technology sometimes doesn't pronounce the names the way they are actually pronounced, but I'll do my best. Anyways, first one, Gentleman's Edge, Guy Solace's other channel. This is a bit of a mouthful, but it's capital T, capital V, As Ferdimondo, if I messed up your name, I'm sorry about that. 
We also have Stephen Gouin, which, unless I confused him with another guy, I don't think I did. He actually, he's been in this hobby for just a couple of months now, and um, he suffers from spina bifida, but it sounds like he's not letting uh, that hold him back from enjoying the finer things in life. Tom Smotherman, sorry, Smotherman or Smotherman, my technology says Smotherman, the Shaving Disciple, which he's got a relatively small channel right now with 82 subscribers. I checked out one of his, a couple of his videos, not bad. Lauren Sarcasio, Barry Corbin, Kizzy, and that's it guys. That's the new subscribers. I want to welcome all of you to the channel. I hope you guys enjoy your time here. Um, I've just got awesome subscribers and you know, it shows. Anyhow, that's it guys. Video is finally over. I shall see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.